All right, guys, today is click on annotations video day. Let me show you exactly what click on annotations are. You've definitely seen them before in the uh, real popular YouTube uh, YouTubers uh, accounts at the end of the videos. Um, this is my outro with click on annotations. I'm going to show you a few examples, but let me show you exactly what it is. So you play it here. We got couple different layers there. Uh, watch my video one on uh, making an outro um, with your editing software. Um, I'll try to put a link to this as well, but uh, that will show you how to embed these in your editing software. But this video is for click on annotations. So as you can see, we've got our different layers. We've got a video playing in the background. We have a subscribe button here. We have a video here and video here. Normally you see this video like last week's video behind the scenes video here and a subscribe button. It's kind of a call to action to keep you on the page to keep you clicking through um, different users uh, videos or subscribing. Really cool call to action. Um, and So what it does is let me just kind of show you a couple examples here and I'm going to walk you through how to do this. So uh, at the end of the video you would hit subscribe and let me show you because I'm on annotations editing let me show you exactly where that would take you if you were watching this on uh, my channel. It would take you to my tips and tricks and then all you do is subscribe. So real simple. So let me show you exactly how it is again real quick. We got our videos and they're interactive. This one's moving. This one's going to move in a second because it's kind of a tutorial video. And so here we go. Um, with these videos already uploaded on your YouTube page what we're going to do here is um, here are my annotations. We got one, two, and three. And so obviously I already have them embedded so I'm going to completely start over and we're going to walk you through this. So let's go on this one and we're going to trash it and we're going to go on this one, we're going to trash it, we're going to go on this one and trash it. So let's start again. So you've uploaded your video with this already embedded of course in the editing program watch video one if you don't know what I'm talking about so we've come to the end of the video what I like to do here is I like to back it up just a little bit here let's go right about 15 so here is my video let me kill that volume there what I like to do is right as the video ends I try to time it just right and I click pause there we go so this is the very this is the outro. So now I want to make these clickable annotations. So we're looking at about 20 seconds. That's how long I like it. You know, put some music in there. You know, add it real nice. I've already added music in the editing software. So, sorry, I went a little too fast. Let me back it up real quick. We're going to go up to add annotation. Left click that. Go down to spotlight. Left click spotlight. What you want to do now, you want to line these squares up around the subscribe button here. So just left click the middle of it, drag it up, and you want to make it look nice. Then come over here, left click this, drag it until it's completely bordered around. And this thing here, if you want to add something to it, you can. Um, you can raise it right above, and you can put something like subscribe. Oops, sorry about that. Subscribe and click video, you know, something like that. Um, I'll change that later. Um, okay, so now what we want to do is we want to be able to make this interactable. Um, so right now it just is highlighted. So now we come down here to link. We want to link the video to something. So we're going to link it to my subscribe page because obviously it's a subscribe button. So we're going to link it to my subscribe page. Now you want to enter in the subscribe page you want to link it to. So we want to link it to uh, tips in in tricks. Alright, now you always want to preview the link to make sure that you're actually linking to your page and not someone else's. So make sure this is yours and then we just click out of that so now we know we're okay so what we want to do here we started it perfectly but now look at the end time we don't want it to go that short amount of time 
So you can manually enter it in. I just like to hit the up arrow button on your keyboard. And um, sorry, it's going a little slow here. Oh, okay, no, we're already there. Sorry. So uh, we're at 243.7. It says 244 here, but technically this is the end of the video. 243.7. That's the very end. And so you just double check it. You're going to link to your subscribe page because this is a subscribe button. Subscribe and click. You can leave that blank if you want uh, or add something. And it's already pre-saved. Now before um, you finally add, you know, after you add all of the annotations, you want to hit publish. That is after you're all finished, you want to hit publish. Because if you don't hit publish, all that work you just did uh, will not be live on your video. And sometimes it auto saves, sometimes it doesn't, so just make sure you save it. Next one, go down to Spotlight again. Drag it over, and I'll try to make this a little bit quicker. Um, now this is a tutorial video, um, and I believe the border is already completely set. Sometimes, look at this video, see how there's a dark edge right here? You want to make sure that you uh, border it so the border actually... Um, is legitimate with the video. So this one we're gonna put, uh, this was my, I'll try to speed this up because you already know, YouTube username change. And you can make that shorter, you know, longer, whatever you wanna do. And we're gonna, again, we're gonna bump this up to 43.7. And we wanna link this to my video. So we're gonna link it to a video and we always want it to open up into a new window. And then what we're going to do is we're going to link it to the video. The easiest thing to do this, you have to get the URL of the video. So I just go on another uh, page. I go on to youtube.com. I go under my tips and tricks box here. I drop down to video manager. Then all you do here, so you don't watch your own videos and you don't... Um, watch your own ads and get disbanded from Google AdSense. Here's all your stuff here. You go under Edit, Info and Settings. And then over here to the right, you see Video URL. So all you do is you just highlight that without highlighting everything and copy it. Go back to your old page. Go down here and paste. And there we go. Now we always want to again preview link so sometimes after you add it, it won't say anything. So I come up here, I click up here, then the preview link shows up. So we're going to preview the link, YouTube Green Screen Playback Problem. And again, we're going to exit out of that before our advertisement plays because you don't want to watch your own advertisements because then you get paid and Google doesn't like that because you're watching your own videos. So now we've done two of them. Now we're going to do a third quick one real quick. And sorry if this video is boring and long, but again, um, hopefully this helps you. So I'm going to go through it. And again, the black border there, we're going to drop this down. And we're going to put, um, let's see, what's the name of that video? Oh, that's uh, uh, Linking Google AdSense Account uh, to your... YouTube. Okay, so we ran out of room. Now we extend it a little bit. YouTube account. Okay, we ran out of room again. We're going to stretch it out. Account. All right. And again, go down to the timing frame here. Arrow up on your keyboard all the way to the end. We're going to link the video. Open a new window. Go back over here. Go back to Video Manager. Go find your Google AdSense. Here's my Google AdSense. Click on Edit, Info and Settings. Highlight your ULR again, just the ULR. Where it's blue there, go back to your other page and paste. Again, click up here. Then that will get you your link here. And we're going to go up here and linking YouTube account and again before that ad clicks on we are going to exit out of there. So we are looking really nice. So all these are legit. It's linking to the proper videos, the timing um, is all the same, it ends at the same time, starts at the same time. 
and uh, so it's already pre-saved so let's go back real quick and watch it uh, let's see here let's go up a little bit to 23 so whoops let's back it up so you guys can kind of see that a little bit and let's get that volume up a little bit so there we go there there's your linking adsense and your subscribe button here etc 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 so we're looking good so let's go ahead and pause that and now we want to publish right up here publish and again look at publish your video live video here so now these are linking to your videos and your subscribe button live on your page and that is how you do click on annotations in your outro now let me show you something real quick before this video gets too long I know you've seen this before someone's talking in the video this is my wife here someone's talking in the video and let's say she points to this section here and she's like hey guys check out this page check out this video check out you know subscribe here in the middle of the video I know you guys have seen it sometimes they throw up a logo here and you know she points to it she says you know uh, check this out so you want to make this clickable in the middle of your video and you want it to go to a separate page you know so that they can come back and watch the rest of the video same application applies to mid video click on annotations you would go back to um, your annotations portion of the video and it's already uploaded and again these ones are already uploaded so that you can link them to the annotations so let's say my wife is pointing to the car halfway through the movie here you just back it up and right before uh, that uh, subscribe button comes you would just pause it and then you same thing again go to spotlight drag it to um, you know this section um, in YouTube of course and then link it and then you know in time and everything so same application I did to these applies to mid video uh, click on annotations as well and uh, I use Sony Vegas Pro 10 to do all my uh, embedded uh, uh, layering. Some people use Adobe. Uh, um, uh, what I'm totally spaced out right now. Adobe uh, After Effects. Yes, but I use Sony Vegas Pro. So very good. So anyway, without further ado, that is click on annotations, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So thumbs it up. Um, subscribe. I got a lot more other videos, and God bless, guys. Take care.